Hello, it's the Ginger Man here, and I'm back in a recognisable place. You may recognise this from the Fife Coast. We're at Kirkcaldy Seafield Beach. And why am I back here, you ask? Well, I'm not doing a full Ginger Man episode just on Kirkcaldy Seafield Beach. What I'm here for uh, is an event called Line in the Sand. Um, and it's timed with COP26, which is happening in Glasgow, and we're here about climate change. Greener Kirkcaldy have organised this event um, and invited me along to come and film the day. So I'm super excited because climate change uh, is very close to the ginger man's heart, uh, as I hope it is to everyone who is watching. So, lighting in the sand, Seafield Beach Kirkcaldy, show the ginger man what you've got. Peace. It's a little bit of a breezy day, but there's no rain and the sun is out-ish. Well, the sky looks lovely. Oh, there's Tom. <laughs> so, oh, he's got his dog, yes. So I've invited Tom along today uh, to come and get involved uh, in the episode. And there he is, just arriving with his dog. Some filming today, also known as Ginger Man by Cam. That's so me. I, uh, hey guys, hey guys, don't we'll be put off by my camera. Did you get a program? Okay, so I'm right in the mix of it here with Greener Kirkcaldy. This is Craig. Hi, Craig. Hi, it's a bit windy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit windy than we expected, but at least it's bright and sunny. Me, so. me and Tom were just talking that this is like renewable energy flying all over us, getting That's wasted. It, the windmills will be spinning somewhere. Aye. Hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Did you get one right, so I've got to make a sign. <laughs> Just on this one? Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. loads of pens and cycles. We'll go with purple. We'll go with purple. Purple? <laughs> uh, I'm about COP26, last chance salute. I'm just trying to get that, what you're going to say, Andrea. I'm guessing the point of change. Am I right? Okay, well, I think we'll just go back What's this to message? It's... Uh, I just want to, like, it wasn't right. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't right. So I, was just coming. I like this mess. This is my favourite message of the day. Space out over here, uh, just so they're socially distanced. Okay, and then they see there's the orange things with the flotation devices in them, oh, the just on the left. Belts. Life belts. Yeah. Yeah. And that's because we're going to enter the beach down at that end. We've just made a decision that we're actually going to drop down onto the beach to do the speeches because it is a little bit more sheltered. So that's a bit of a change to the programme because this is crazy. Here, when the sand 24th of September site plan. So there's the line in the sand. Literally, we're going to be doing a human line in the sand. 
Uh, so there's more and more people starting to arrive. Uh, I was worrying for a second it was not going to be too many people. Uh, I wanted to say a wee bit about how the fear of climate change uh, is a terrifying subject to, to think about, but it's a reality. It's an absolute reality and must that we become consciously aware of it and start making changes. Um, otherwise, uh, we're done for. Literally, we are done for. Our home, our planet, everything we know. And if this was a Love Island event, there might be thousands of people here. And that blows my mind because Love Island is literally useless. Um, and this has heart and meaning behind it. Right, so everyone is on the move. We're heading down to the beach. There's some speakers doing some speaking. <coughs> there we go. So I want to catch some people, maybe get an interview. Do what I can. I'm doing my usual ginger man winging it. Some speeches, that's what I'm really here to see and film, because that's where we'll get the, the raw information. And here's everyone getting ready to go to the beach, and it's quite a turnout now. This is good. my sign COP26 last chance saloon someone will have that sign so let me introduce you uh, the chair of Green Liquor Curry is Christine May uh, and our marketing coordinator is Andrea Elder so thank you and thank you all for coming it's lovely to see so many people here on behalf of Green Liquor Curry and the Climate Action Network all of the groups and individuals who are putting time and effort into this message to our government and the governments of the world powers. We want change. But I'm also here to say that in spite of the naysayers who tell you that your individual action doesn't matter because China or because India or because whatever, it does. So whatever little thing you can do, do just a little more of it. Because it does, and it will make a difference. Thank you again. I'm going to hand over to Andrea, who will talk to you about her role as a volunteer uh, and working with Greener Kirkcaldy and how she is helping to do her bit for climate change. Thanks everyone. It's great to see so many diverse people here today uh, to really represent the fact that it isn't just all on young people's shoulders, it's on everyone's shoulders and I think it's really reassuring as well to see all ages actually actively taking part in standing against the climate emergency and doing their bit. Uh, so it's great to see you all here today and I'm really looking forward to making a line in the sand with you all and help and all of us um, coming together to make changes in combating the climate emergency and representing Fife in terms of COP coming to Scotland and really making our statement. So yeah, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Give us a blast in the side and come on. Yeah. Oh my god, how do I even do it? Right, let's get some of these. Let's get some of these signs. No fair. I like it. It is no fair. No fair. Are we facing the sea? Oh. We're facing. We're we're officially facing the sea. We've got the guy on the trike to quickly get the message spread. It's good. Right, I like this. Let's get right along these signs. I like this. There's no planet B. Ah, I like it. There we go, I like it. No skipping lessons to teach you one. Oh, I like it. It's good. No lives in a plastic bottle under the sea. Dead fish. <laughs> I 
I like this, this is good. It's a good map of the world. Look, there's Scotland there, so that's us in Kirkcaldy. Fantastic. Nice. Life. Wait there. Life in plastic. Ah, I see life in plastic. In <laughs> Aqua. Barbie girl. I like it. Cool. Nice. This is a big sign. I'm just going to get all the signs here. Stop climate change. One of the grown men. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It's not edible, Chris. Let's <laughs> <laughs> nice. get all the signs here, guys. You can hide yeah, your faces. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. There we go. No signs along here. Oh, there's one. I'm coming for the signs. Change it's your future. So good. Nice colour. Get all my own I think I wrote that one. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> Can do it. I like it. Was it? Oh, this is the best one yet. Did you do this? Yeah. This is phenomenal. It's a piece of art. Hello. I stopped on this one the longest. Don't tell anyone else. <laughs> I like this. And with Greta, we were saying it. We could have she rolled up Greta Thunberg like right now. <laughs> Again, I like it. Thank you. Was it here? 86 of us, is it? This is nice. long like good. I've, I've been coming along for a while here. This is I like this one. I'm with David Attenborough. I'm also with David Attenborough. Uh -huh. I'm with your dog. Alfie, yep. Hey Alfie. <laughs> there you go, a couple more at the end. Hey right, guys. Tread soft. I like it. It's a nice one. Nice colour. Be the change. I also like it. Guys. Right at the end. Perfect. <laughs> it's got the sun's getting what you're saying. There we go. Every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there, on the mote of dust, suspended in a sunbeam. The earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors, so that in glory and triumph they could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dot. Think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of this pixel on the scarcely distinguishable inhabitants of some other corner. How frequent their misunderstandings. How eager they are to kill one another. How fervent their hatreds. Our posturings our imagined self-importance, the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe, are challenged by this point of pale light. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. The earth is the only world known so far to harbor life. There is nowhere else, at least in the near future, to which our species could migrate. Visit? Yes. Settle? Not yet. Like it or not, for the moment, the earth is where we make our stand. It has been said that astronomy is a humbling and character-building experience. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known.
I'm going to go back to the lady with the insanely good sign. Because that sign was ridiculously good. I've got my eyes on her. I'm going for her. Right, we're heading up this way. Yeah, I've got to come back to this sign. This is so good. Do you mind being, I ask you a couple of questions? Excellent. And have you I, always been environmentally conscious throughout your life? Not really. Not really? Not really. So there's more yeah. something recent you've become aware of? or? Yeah. In the last, I'd say, 10 years. 10 years, yeah. Yeah. Right. But certainly now, yeah. you can see it happening yeah. all over. Yeah. So it's important to That's get good. things done. Excellent. And I want it to be part of it. Oh. What's happening? Are we gathering over here? I'll join this gathering. Brilliant. Thank you so much for taking part. That looked really amazing, like just walking out in front of that line and reading all the signs. The photographs are going to be good. We've got the five free presser here, five council have been taking photographs. And then as a little bonus, we got the drones because they were not going to fly up until the very last minute because of the wind. So we got really lucky then. So thank you for letting us take that amazing footage. With all the events taking place, that's going to make a big difference and get the message out there in the run up to COP. And the idea is that that will influence the decision makers, but we need to do our part too. So uh, I want to tell you a little bit about our new campaign. It's uh, launched by the Climate Action Five Project to put on these events, um, and it's called the Big Five for Five. Um, so what we did at Climate Action Five is we selected five behaviours that we can all do to introduce into our everyday life that we reckon are quite high impact but they are achievable and I'm sure actually a lot of you here today are probably doing a lot of them already. So if you are, tell people, talk to people, break that climate science and encourage your friends, families, colleagues, anybody who will listen to take on the big five for five. So we have our big five, number one, is to switch to 100% renewable energy tariff. It's quite a quick and easy step to make. Once it's done, it's done. Um, and you can be a, sleep a bit easier knowing that there's um, been no renew, no coal burnt to power your home. I know it's a, not a great time to be talking about power at the moment, so maybe we'll move on to number two. <coughs> number two, the pledge is I will cook plant-based meals for two meals a week. So switching away from meat is a great way to tackle your carbon footprint. Uh, so the production of livestock produces a lot of produces a lot of methane. Uh, that contributes to global warming. So just switching a couple of meals, if we all did it, it will start to make a difference. So we're not asking you to go vegan overnight, but just maybe a couple of lunches, a main meal here and there, uh, reduce that meat intake, it will make a huge difference. Number three, is Susan's favourite one, is I will cycle for one regular local journey each week. So I think the, the key point of that is regular. Um, so if you can make it part of your routine, you're more likely to stick to the pledge uh, and it just becomes part of your everyday. And who knows, maybe you'll start to do all your journeys on bike. Number four is to avoid buying new clothes for three months. Some people either go, oh, that's easy. No problem, I've not bought clothes for two years. But some people, it might be a bit more of a challenge. And if you're thinking, oh my word, that, that fills me with dread, then maybe this is the challenge for you. Okay? So, making clothes fast fashion, it's about a quick turnover, pumping out fas fashions after fashion after fashion, uh, lots of changing trends and to produce these clothing does cost a lot of uh, a lot of methane and a lot of carbon in uh, production and transport and because the trends change so quickly a lot of these clothes they end up just straight in landfill been worn a couple of times and away they go they're cheap people don't respect them so maybe we could just uh, just buy less stuff that's a great way to, to reduce your impact on the climate and number five um, is to join a local group taking climate action. So I know some of you are already involved, I recognise a few faces, uh, so thank you. There's lots of them happening in Fife, uh, lots of different groups, whether it's their main focus or whether it's just something that they have built into their regular work. There are lots of groups who are all now taking action on climate. So a good starting point is to head to the Fife Communities Climate Action Network page, and there's a whole list of Fife-based organisations all driving climate action. So do go and check it out and join in. Uh, not only will you be making a difference, but you'll have fun, you'll learn new things, you'll meet new people, and you'll just feel part of something, which is just a lovely thing for our mental health and our well-being. So these are our five challenges to you. If you think that you could take them on, then you can head to our website, climateaction5.org.uk forward slash big five, and it will 
to be lots of starting points for each of them to get you going on your journey and also some ideas to do uh, once you've done your pledge as well. Thank you very much for coming. If you want to drop off your sign, you can just drop it off at the gazebo or you can take it home with you if you'd rather. Thank you very much everybody, well done. <laughs> well done. Grab you for a quick, you. quick couple of words just as it's finished. I think this is the best time to grab you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling more than happy. That, was, that, that was, was really good, good wasn't it? It was awesome, man. Really engaged. Uh, the weather actually turned out okay. We got the drones up in yeah, the end. Yeah. Amazing, man. So, uh, yeah. It very... felt really good walking along. I had the camera and I was reading all the signs as I went along, so it was great. I want a quick couple of questions for you. So, what, what got you into this sort of way of thinking and ideology in life of, you know, realising that climate change and the impact it's having, etc., you know? What, what, what was the, the moment or...? Well, I've always been in, into nature, so my background was in, in conservation, so it's right. kind of linked field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I started to make a few changes in my own life, mainly focused on, on plastic uh -huh. uh, and, and palm oil, so we started to make those changes uh, and become a kind of plastic-free household. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, that's a good way of, of tackling climate change, is to reduce plastic, because it's, it's made with fossil fuels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so from there, it was uh, quite an easy step then to kind of get involved with Greener Kirkcaldy. Uh -huh. Um, and you know a lot of the, the same beliefs held from the conservation carry over into mm -hmm. the crisis as well. So yeah, it's just uh, it kind of started with personal action, and that's why we are here today. We're talking about the big five for five mm -hmm. because once you make that first step, you make that first commitment yeah. to doing something for climate change. Actually, it gets much easier and yeah. easier to then go on and do, yeah. do the next thing. Yeah. And you start to think of yourself as a an environmentally conscious yeah. person. Yeah. So, so that's that. I was having a nice conversation with Craig who has run this event, uh, what a guy, what a really nice guy, real friendly, uh, real environmentally and socially aware. And I feel like there was lots of, we were coming at the climate situation from two different angles almost. I had done sociology and I was telling him I'd done my dissertation on fast fashion, which he kind of highlighted in his speech at the end. And he came from it from a conservationist angle. Um, and these worlds are colliding because our social behaviour is what's impacting the environment. If we change the social behaviour, the environment will benefit from it. So it was really interesting talking to them, and that's what we need. We need people, like-minded people, coming together to create a force of power, a force of good, a force of change. And it begins at events like this. COP26 is happening in Glasgow, 31st of October. And this is us sending a message, and this is happening all across Fife, all across the country, and ideally all across the world, um, because something has to happen, something has to change. Um, and it's events like this, 70 to 80 people I think we had in that line, uh, relatively small number, but in the greater scheme of things, it's actually quite a massive, massive start, because 80 turns to 160, and so forth and so on. Anyway, this has been amazing, it's been an absolutely fantastic event, and I want to get more involved in things like this with the climate change. And it's going to become a big part of Ginger Man's message moving forward because I want to protect the environment because I love it. I love observing it and I love enjoying it. And so do you. It's better than Love Island. So remember that. Peace.